Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another Psych2Go video. Childhood can arguably be the most important phase of your life. Have you ever wondered what your life would have been like if your parents did things differently? Your childhood experiences shape you for the rest of your life. That includes your parenting if you do plan to have kids. The problem is many parents often don't realize that the things they do will have an impact on their child. Before we begin, we would like to make a disclaimer that this video contains discussions regarding child abuse and physical abuse. With that being said, here are five ways your childhood affects your parenting. 1. Harsh Reactions When a child is upset, many parents tend to react harshly. For example, the parent might show disapproval and say things like, Stop crying, there's nothing to be upset about. Their aim is to show their child that they care and don't want them to be upset. However, the child might not perceive it that way, and instead they might feel like their feelings are invalid. What does this have to do with the child's future parenting skills? In a study done by SRCD, it was found that children shared the same type of reactions as their parents when they become adults. 2. Obsession Abuse during childhood can be detrimental towards a person's mental health. Studies done by PsychNet concluded that as a result of child abuse, they often obsess themselves with the lives of others as a form of escape from their trauma. When carried into adulthood, these obsessions can lead to stalking and being abnormally involved in a child's life. This over-involvement results in a significant lack of trust and possible hate between a parent and their child. 3. Physical Abuse Physical abuse as a child can often lead one to feel helpless and depressed. While most seek medical and therapeutic help, some victims turn to take power. The only way for them to feel normal again is by becoming the abuser, and their past helps them justify their actions to do so. The Wiley Online Library conducted a study where they found that it is very likely for childhood abuse to result in the victim becoming an abuser. If not treated, this cycle of abuse can branch out and affect the lives of more than one person. 4. Cycling what you see Cycles are the result of most childhood experiences. When you experience something, you're more likely to repeat the same experiences with your child. Through numerous studies like TNFs, it is found that there is a clear relationship between what is experienced in childhood and what is done in adulthood, especially in cases of maltreatment. Although this correlation is evident, we come to see the opposite in many cases. The significant opposition of what had happened to you in your childhood may make you want to aspire to be a different and better parent. This seems incredibly positive as an idea, but most parents who try to be different overdo it. Your parents made you clean too much in your childhood? You might justify being different by teaching your kids no organizational skills at all. Had a terrible time in school? You might homeschool your child and prevent them from gaining any social skills. This cycle of change can be detrimental to a child's developmental stage. In order to successfully be a better parent than your own, it's important to keep a healthy balance of everything. And five, inability to trust. Do you trust others easily or do you find it hard to be vulnerable around others? Trust is an important part of adulthood. The inability to trust someone can leave a person troubled and heavily conflicted. This lack of trust is often the result of a childhood where one does not feel safe being vulnerable to their parents. When this happens, the brain chooses to put on a defensive mode around people. A child developing into an adult carries this defensive trust barrier and this may result in dishonesty within a relationship. Reports given by Sage Pub suggest that a lack of trust in childhood can ultimately lead to loneliness. If you want to know more about loneliness, check out our video titled Seven Signs You May Be Lonely. The link's in the description. Do you plan to have children or do you already have children? If so, you can be a successful parent by understanding and being self-aware about how your childhood may influence your parenting style. Did we miss anything? What was your childhood like? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with someone who might benefit from it. Click on the subscribe button for more videos on psychology and mental health. As always, thanks for watching.